Hey guys. Well, today I got another bad day of news story for you. I'm sorry I missed you yesterday. Get a little busy with my kids every so often. But today I want to tell you a story about back in the day when we had a stolen credit card every now and then. Now, my friend Gerard Bellafiore, he was a really funny guy. He was great at stealing, robbing cars, cracking safes, taking off night deposit boxes. He was one of the best I ever worked with, 100%. But he was so comical too. Now, my friend Willie Galloway, he was also a funny guy, an Irishman, uh, not really a tough kid, but he's a funny kid. And uh, he comes out with the most comical stuff that comes out of his mouth. And uh, we had so much fun together back in the day when we used to steal and rob and things like that. I'm not glorifying it, but I'm telling you a story. Now, at this time, Gerard Bellafiore and William Galloway had a stolen credit card. Gerard ended up robbing someone's car. It might have been a Porsche, Corvette, a Benz, whatever it was. That's what we used to do. We used to rob high-end cars. Now, there was a credit card in this car. So, one morning... Gerard calls me, he says, Jimmy, he says, come downstairs, I'm in front of your house. He's in front of my house, I get in his car, and he says, come on, we're gonna go get a couple outfits, meaning jogging suits, jackets, sneakers. I said, okay, good, sounds good. So I give Paulie G a call. I said, Paulie, I said, what are you doing? I said, we got a stolen credit card. I said, we're gonna go down to Madison Avenue in Manhattan. And we're going to go buy a couple jogging suits, leather jackets. This car was like American Express card where it had so much on it. And plus Gerard knew one of the girls that worked in the place. So she also got a percentage and got a whole bunch of stuff for herself too. So we pick up Paulie G. Now Paulie G was always a funny kid too sometimes where... He never used to love to leave Bay 23rd and Bath. That was his main spot. To get him off that corner, something else had to be going on. He would roam the neighborhood in his Cadillac, smoking weed, and maybe drinking a bottle of champagne. Usually he was in Greg's Inn or his house or hanging out with a chick. But this morning, I pick him up, me, Gerard, and William Galloway, at his house, and he takes a ride with us to Manhattan. Now, Paulie G is really not into all this stuff. Paulie G is like just a tough kid, hangs out in the corner, takes care of his business, shakes down drug dealers, makes some drug deal moves, and, uh, you know, hurts people. So he takes the ride with us. We go to Madison Avenue. We go into the store. We start shopping, looking at things. Gerard picks out this nice leather jacket with all different colors in it, okay? We ended up at the Feli store on Madison Avenue. And I pick out the same jacket as Gerard. All leather, nice colors, it was beautiful. Willie picks out the same jacket. We all pick out the same jacket. Paulie G ends up getting the same jacket too. We end up grabbing a couple pairs of sneakers a piece, maybe three or four jogging suits each. And the girl that worked there made like $2,000 for herself and stuff. And we just took her for her. And we met her later on during the day. Now, after that, this is a day we went to lunch. Okay, we went to get something to eat. Then from there, we were in Manhattan. We went straight to Scores. This is like 1989. Okay, it was on the west side, this place. We got in there maybe six o'clock, seven p.m. And you had all these beautiful girls in there. 
okay? Gerard had a ton of money on him. I had a couple of dollars on me. But there was this most beautiful girl in the whole place. Paulie G's just hanging out. He's got a jogging suit on. He's all spiffed up. He's a good looking kid. You know, he's looking at the girls. You know, we have a small drink. And I look at this girl and she's on the stage. And you know, we're handing money to the girls. And I said, wow, you're so beautiful. And I offer a thousand dollars. I said, for a thousand dollars, would you come home with me tonight? And she goes, no. I said, 2,000? She goes, no. I said, 3,000? She goes, 3,000. I give her $3,000, I take her home with me. The girl was the most beautiful girl in the world. But what happened was, these times when we used to go out, there was one funny time in particular. I'm at a club in Scarlet's, in Staten Island with Paulie G. Gerard and Willie's with me this night. Every so often, I grab Paulie G, I hang out with Gerard and Willie. Because Gerard used to make tons of money. And every time he picked me up, he had tons of money. And we would end up doing scores. So we take a ride to Scarlet's one night. We're in Scarlet's. We're having a good time. Drinking, throwing money at the girls. Some beautiful girls. Some girl Jenna. Uh, some other stripper. Uh, Molly. All these girls. Every one of them were beautiful. So... Paulie G ends up going to the bathroom. There's a couple other guys in the club that are staring us down. And the kid Willie looks at the kid. The kid Willie's not a, not a tough kid. And he tells him, what are you looking at? The kid Willie's all rowdy up. And uh, the kid ends up hitting Willie. He hits the kid Willie. The kid Willie falls to the floor. I'm starting to fight with the... Uh, Two of these kids, another kid comes over, one of the bouncers comes over, puts us in the middle. The kid Gerard Bella Fury, he runs over to uh, the bathroom. And Paulie G, he tells me, Paulie G's in the bathroom looking at his hair. Gerard tells me, he says, Paulie, he says, I don't know what's going on, but Jimmy's fighting with some guys outside. Paulie G runs out, he runs up to these guys, he starts fighting with them too. Bang, 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 bang. And uh, we end up having a fist fight, and we end up getting out of there. Now, Scarlet's, Anthony Sparrow had a piece of Scarlet's. So if we had a beef there, it was uh, pretty much okay, because we were tight with Sparrow. But uh, these are the fun times when you look back and you remember. You know, my friend Rob Bellafiore, he was a great thief. Uh, great scores we used to do. Used to have mad fun times. Throwing money out of the windows on the West Side Highway after we made money. Going to strip clubs and throwing money around. You know, these are the fun times we had. You know, you're buying anything you want at that time it was a fun time. But the thing is, listen, I never lived on top of the hill. I always struggled in the course of my life. You know, I never, I never owned a home before. I grew up in a building. Then from there, we moved to Avenue U. But, you know, all the money I made, as fast as I made it, I spent it. So I didn't have that direction where, you know what, Jimmy, invest your money. I really never thought I'd live this long, I'll tell you the truth. When I started seeing some of my friends dying and getting murdered, when I was a kid, I had the mentality like, you know what? I want to get murdered too. Okay, bring it to me. I want to get murdered too. That, that was the mentality I had at that time. But, you know, this is just a quick video just to say hello to you guys. I want to put a little something out there. You know, back in the day when we had a couple of stolen credit cards, uh, you know, but... My friends, a lot of them were all comical. So they all had a funny way about them. Paulie G never used to like to leave Bay 23rd. If he did, he got in his car, he drove around the neighborhood, smoked a joint and stuff like that. And look, 
you know what? We smoked weed with wise guys. We snorted cocaine with wise guys. These guys who say they never did this with these other guys, then they must have been around a bunch of angels because this is how my neighborhood was. This is how I grew up. I'm telling my story. And, uh, you know, well, if you like this video, please share it. I'll be back later. I'm going to do another video later on in the day. But I love you guys. I love your support. Share my video, please. Thank you. And my merch will be on my YouTube soon, and you'll be able to order it. I'm working on that. I'm working on a couple of things. I know it takes a little time, but please be patient with me. And I love the support you're giving me, and I'm giving it back to you too. Love yous. Bye.